What's up guys, Crazy VR here. Today I'm bringing you guys a story about the time I donated fire gear to Africa. I'm gonna enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. So, the story. All right. So, you guys know, most of you guys know I'm um, in an EMT class. Some of the newer subscribers may not know that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's an AM class and a PM class. The AM class is, ma is only EMT. The PM class is fire and police. So, um, the, the PM class gets old fire gear donated to them from fire companies around the county. So we all got a bunch of gear donated to us. And the AM class is allowed to use the gear, but we don't really have any use for it, so we don't really use it. But anyway, we, we all got a bunch of gear donated to us from a bunch of different, different fire companies. Um, so there was a bunch of the older, older stuff, like this is the stuff that we're, I'm talking about now is like 20 years old, where the stuff that we just got is 10 years old. So, um, we, one of my friends, Mark, walks up to our teacher and says, I think we should donate this to Africa. There's a fire company in the county, actually right down the street, that does, that takes old gear and sends it over to different countries that need it. So, our teacher's like, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, now, the PM class, not to trash them, but most of them wanted to take it and put it in their car uh, because they're all firemen and they wanted to be able to go direct to uh, directly to a fire scene. Um, so, we thought that was kind of funny. But, anyway. So, Mark walks up to me and he says, Hey, Mike, can we uh, take this gear over to the, the station? I said, uh... I don't have the car, but next time I have the car, definitely. So him and I have been planning it for a month. And finally I got the car again, was able to drive, and we took it over to the station, me, him, and our friend Nate and our friends Nate and Skyler. Um so on our way there actually, I almost we almost got in an accident because there was gravel on the street I was turning on, and we, if you guys know what fishtailing is, it's when the back end of the car swings around. Um, so we fishtailed into the other lane, but luckily I didn't panic and I just kind of did the right thing and got back in and got in the right lane. Um, and I wasn't even going fast, I was going 15 miles per hour on the turn, just for the record. But anyway, we got there, we donated all the gear, and we found out that it's going to Sierra Leone where they don't have any fire gear over there for the most part. I mean, I think the capital probably does, but like none of the like villages have it and it's just going to help so many people over there. Um, we donated 18 pairs of gear. So that's 18 fi 18 firefighters can wear that. So it is such an honor to have been a part of that um, and I'm just grateful that Mark approached me about it and that he gave me the opportunity to be a part of it because it was really, really cool. And uh, I have a video coming up, guys. I'm gonna record a day in the life just of my EMT class and just what we do in EMT class. Um, it's gonna be a day where we don't do much because I don't wanna, I have to focus because it's a hard class. So you guys will meet Mark and Nate and Skylar in the video. You'll meet some, some of the people that make my mornings a lot more uh, bearable to go to school um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe follow me on Twitter be down in the description below as always guys it's been crazy VR thanks for watching have a great day see ya